hello there, and welcome back to this Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue, Lucario. Our last episode, we began moving up towards Celestic Town. We uh, managed to go through the Spirit Tower to get the HM for Strength. Turns out we need another Gym Badge to be able to use that, so we went to Wayward Cave for absolutely nothing. Started banning some trainers on our way up. We did get a encounter in the tower. However, the heartbreaking moment is we had a death in the family. Our MVP, Animuse, the giraffe rig, fell victim to a mothin with silver wind. I don't know what I was thinking. This guy had the mothin, so we've had to replace Animuse. And as you will have seen from the grinding montage, said Pokemon has evolved. Let's have a team recap and show you exactly what we're dealing with today. First up is the newest member of the squad, TJ the Haunter. He has evolved into a Haunter in the grinding montage. He's about seven levels away from becoming a Gengar. Very sad to hopefully have that. Our third opportunity to have a trade evolution in this game, in this run through actually. The Naughty Nature, so an increased physical attack nature. I mean, it's not a physical attacker, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Levitate ability. The move Shadow Punch, Hypnosis, Nightshade, and Confuse Ray. We used a Heart Scale to get Hypnosis on uh, this mom. Next is Blue the Crobat, level 31, Poison Flying type. Lax nature. The Inner Focus ability. The move is Defog Cross Poison, which is a tutor move, thanks to the Heart Scale, which I discovered at the end of the Granny Montage 2. Fly and Confuse Ray. Next up is EJ, the Lux Ray, level 31, holding the Zap Plate. Adamant Nature, excuse me. Intimidate Ability, and the move Spark, Lear, Charge, and Bite. Next up is Head Cannon, the Roselia, holding the Big Root. Quirky Nature, Poison Point Ability, level 31. Giga Drain, Magical Leaf, Leap Seed, and Toxic are the moves. Next is Lord Fenton, the Ponyta, level 30. Relax Nature, Runaway Ability, the moves Strength, Tail Whip, Ember, and Stomp. Uh, next up is Peridot, the Primplup, our starter, at level 32, holding the Shell Bell, Bashful Nature, Torrent ability, the moves Metal Claw, Peck, Bubble Beam, and Stealth Rock. And that is our squad. We're going to just dive in straight away and launch ourselves forward on our way to Celestic Town. I need to rem I'm trying to get as many items as I can. So we have to deal with that. And I am munching on some Christmas cake as well while I'm here. So don't mind me. Sorry, it's not an ASMR stream, so I'm not trying to eat into the microphone kind of thing. Ooh, my choke. Let's just up the uh, speed up a bit so we can get through these battles quickly. And hypnosis! <laughs> Stay asleep, boy. Shadow punch. Because we're up in physical attack. I mean, our physical attack is still not great, but it'll do until we get a special type uh, ghost move. Also, Nightshade will do a nice amount of damage. Might even kill on the next turn. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will. It did not! And it woke up. We outspeed. Pretty sure we outspeed. Yeah, we do. Good. I got rid of Sucker Punch for Hypnosis because I think Hypnosis will be more beneficial. Especially if we can get Dream Eater, which is a special type move. And is a Psychic type, so we'll add a bit of coverage to us. On that front, because we just lost our psychic type. Krogunk. Um, speaking of psychic type moves, that would be amazing right now. Uh, you, ooh, you have pursuit, don't you? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, good, I've got you asleep. Uh, now I can switch out safely. Because this thing is dangerous to me. I mean, it has Sucker Punch as well as uh, Pursuit, I'm pretty sure. Or it'll d at least have one of them. It definitely has Sucker Punch, I know that. 
But yeah, we will take this thing down with a fly, and there you go. Specializing the ghost type going into a ghost type gym is a little dangerous, but now I can't just solo with one of I'm going to have to have a more balanced approach to taking these things out. Maybe we can get EJ to learn Crunch. We um, might stand a better stead of it. The problem I have to worry about is Crunch is physical, and a lot of the ghost types in that gym will have Aftermath, which is going to hurt EJ quite a bit. Ooh, Smoke Ball. Interesting. Uh, you are next. Bird Pokemon. Hoot hoot! You 100% have... Uh, oh, you're normal flying anyway, so TJ can't really hurt you. Let's switch you out to EJ. TJ into EJ. Let's go. With a spot. I need a new move. I need, like, uh, Thunderfang or something like that. Another physical electric type move. would be really useful right now. It's just so disappointing that Wild Charge isn't a thing in this gym. Wild Charge would be perfect on EJ. Spark will do. I mean, Spark is as a basic move. It's just an adamant nature. Discharge isn't going to do anywhere near as much. So uh, that's going to be a slight problem going forward. You are going to battle me. Oh, it's a veteran. With a weasel who has pursuit. Fortunately, I have hypnosis that missed. No! Thank God I didn't try and switch. If Aqua Jet is. Whoa! Okay, we connect with hypnosis this time. That's good. Um, mm, try a shadow punch. How much is that going to do? Yes to the critical hit. Really? Really? You're going to pull this on me? You're going to pull this on me? Why is this game so cruel? Like, literally, we're still mourning the loss of Animus, and now you're going to send another one in just to taunt us. Well, I will bite your ass. Yeah. Because we don't kick shame on this. We don't kick shame at all. We will bite that ass. Have a Machoke Me Daddy. Well, I have blue. I don't have a Psychic type anymore, but I do have blue. And I will fly and destroy you. Cake! Oh yeah! That cake was gorgeous because it was made by my mother and she makes amazing Christmas cakes. Repel war up. That's fine because I mean, we're right by Celestic Town now. So it is not the end of the world at all. Problem is a lot of these Team Galactic guys have scum tanks and things like that so I am not leading with you. In fact, I'm going to lead with Lord Fenton for a bit. Come up here. Here we are. We are in Celestic Town. Heal! Alright, um, from here. I'm just trying to see. I think there's um, some items maybe hidden in this town. I just need to speak to everyone in here. Interesting. The, uh, oh, it's the analog watch. I mean, I don't need the analog watch. I have all this. What is in this house? Oh, you're this place. What do you have? Hmm. I know where to come for the decent balls then, clearly. Uh, in here. Interesting. 
I'm assuming you're Cynthia's little sister. And is there anything in here? Don't care about you. Don't care about you. Okay, looks like I have to just go straight to the Teen Galactic stuff. Well, hello there. Bring it. Bring it, biatch. I will take you down. I'll take you down to Brown Town. Okay, beautiful. Oh, perfect. Lord Fenton, destroy this thing. Our special attack isn't amazing, but we will have more than enough to take you out. Really? Stone Spore? <sighs> what an asshole. It's okay. We have plenty of paralyzed heals. Morning Sun? Okay. But you haven't got all your health back, so... Ember will kill you this turn. Boom! Krogunk. If it has dry skin, this will do uh, double damage, so... It'll either have anticipation or dry skin. Probably has an um, anticipation or something. Ooh. Gotta be careful. That'll do. Krogan goes down. Lord Fenter gets the XP. And we're good to go. Yep. Ah. So we've handed this over. Hey. And let's go have a look at the ruins, shall we? Hello? Okay. HMO3, we have Sir, finally. Wait, what? But we have strength and it won't let us use strength outside of battle yet. What? I mean, surely I should be able to use strength by now. If I need to beat Heart Home to get the um, ability to use Surf, why can't I use strength yet? Hmm. I mean, I'll figure it out. The most important thing right now is to head to Heart Home City. And to the gym. Which I believe is here. Yay, we can do the gym now. Now. We're going to do some battling here. Three plus five plus seven. Well, clearly the answer is this. I'm only doing this so I can battle the trainers while I'm here. Oh, critical hit. Let's go, Lord Fenton. I'm going to switch out, though, because EJ will be the one to deal with you. I'm not sure what levels we're going to be dealing with, though, for this gym badge. We're, I think we're a little underleveled at this point in time. Which is why I need to battle the trainers. We'll have to wait and see. Um, it might... Yeah, it's going to be worthwhile having TJ up front because I think having TJ able to uh, beat everyone is definitely going to be beneficial to me here. Mistreverse, level 30. Ooh. How are we going to do a Shadow Punch? Super effective. It's Stab. Doesn't quite kill. And then you have Confuse, right? You're probably still going to get a decent amount of XP, so I'm going to switch out into Lord Fenton and get the kill with that, because at least with Lord Fenton getting some training as well. Oh, no, thank you. That 
That's horrible. Completely forgot that thing had paint split. Are you kidding me right now? Get out of my face, you absolute cretin. Yeah, we'd be dead right now. We might still be dead. No, we're not. Lord Fenton, come on! Sort it out. Jeez. Hit your target. It's a mischievous. I swear. Finally. And we do nothing to this thing. Come on. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating already. Lord Fenton can do nothing to these ghost types, so we're not going to be using you in this gym. Whatsoever. Uh, yeah, shut up. Just let me battle everything that's in here. Uh, 12 plus 28 is fifth, 40. So we do left, then far right, then middle. And we'll just dab him. Shadow Punch should kill the Ghastly. It does. Nice! Let's go, TJ! Level 31. Ghastly again. That is completely fine because we'll shut it up. No! Oh my god. I got rid of Sucker Punch. I should have predicted that there was a Sucker Punch on these things. Just so glad it didn't kill me. We will live another Sucker Punch. But not a crit. So I'm going to Super Potion immediately. Just in case it tried to go for a Sucker Punch that turn. Now it goes for Confuse Ray. Like a bitch. Come on, TJ. TJ, buddy. Yeah. We're dead if we're hit with another Nightshade. Do I have a berry for confusion? That's the question. Yes, excellent. Thank God I have person berries. Ow! Can you stop? This is what the main problem though with this line is the HP is so bad. It's so low. I mean, with 69 HP at level 31. So they... Glass cannon, basically. They'll do a lot of damage by you, um, providing you get the right moveset on them. Like, physical Gengar is not going to be the best, but at least it's not a down in special attack nature. So when I get a move like Ominous Wind or... Um, what do you call it? Hex. Ooh. This thing gets Aftermath. This is slightly terrifying. Uh, let's try Shadow Punch for now. It probably won't kill, because it's... It was a crit! And there's the Aftermath. Knew it! I'm switching out into EJ, so EJ gets a bit of XP as well, because EJ with Bite is going to be very handy. Added to the fact that the main Pokemon in Drift Blim is part flying, so having EJ... I use Leer. Why did I use Leer? Um, oh, actually. Leer followed by Charge, followed by Spark, might take out the Drifflin. But it's a physical move, so we'll be hit with Aftermath anyway. Level 33 EJ. That is nice. How are we doing? Eh, we're okay on HP. 
Yeah, buddy. Uh, 3 times 13 is 39, so we're doing middle then right first. Like I said, we are battling every trainer we can. I'm in no rush for this. No rush, because I need all the training I can possibly get, and that is a Haunter. Hypnosis. Yes, thank you. Not taking chances with these things. Shadow Punch. You definitely had Sucker Punch then. Oh, the one shot, because one shot does plenty. Level 32, TJ. No, you didn't study enough. Because otherwise, you would have known about hypnosis. It's another battle. Thank you. I think this is going to be the last trainer battle before the uh, gym leader, so. And it's a Drifloon. The Shadow Punch. Because I don't think you have Sucker Punch. You do have Payback, though. Fortunately, we killed you in one. We're hit with the Aftermath, so I'm probably going to switch out. In fact, I am going to switch out. We'll send in EJ. Spark will kill this thing. Uh, this is the fourth video I'm actually recording today. Uh, break for them. It is still the Sunday, previous for this episode. Um, trying to get ahead of myself. I've got uh, a lot of things to do at uh, at the weekend that this is coming up. Uh, some test recordings to do ahead of Versus. Uh, recordings for next week as well. And hopefully I'll be going seeing a good friend of mine. Um, we need a proper catch up with each other. We haven't seen each other in a while. Um, it's been something we've been trying to plan for ages. But it's just one thing after another keeps falling through. And it's really annoying. But... Oh. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have more trainers. You have Ghastly that will have Sucker Punch. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident, unless you crit, we're golden. Down goes Ghastly. Should probably look at training some of the other mons, actually, while I'm here. Let's send him Parrot up. Having our starter do some damage could be nice. Ooh. And Driftblim takes heavy damage from Stealth Rock. So I'm I'm actually thinking on leading with Peridot for the gym battle. That is a shout. Because unless they have Defog, which they might... To be honest, they might have Defog. Yeah, Defog or Rapid Spin is the only thing that can get rid of them. Uh, but it's definitely a good plan. It is the... Ooh, that is a Gengar. He just slightly lower on health, but I don't think it has a special move yet. We've got Intimidate on any of the physical moves coming in. But it has Confuse Ray! Of course you have Confuse Ray! Because everyone likes... Yay! Yay! Thank you! Yeah, stop mouthing off, because I'm going to body everyone here. Battle you. Uh, you should really have healed up. Ooh, Mischievous. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go into Peridot, and we're going to take you down. Side aim! That was a crit. That was a crit. Jeez Louise. I am not a fan of this. Let's try Metaphor. I know it's not stab, but... Probably going to do a bit better. We've got the attack boost. And there's my shell bell coming in for 2 HP restoring. Stop! I will take that crit as well. Uh, even a crit won't kill me, so Metal Claw will come. Oh, come on! 
Why? Peridot. This is ridiculous. The amount of RNG bullshit going against me in this episode. In this series as well. Like, are you kidding me right now? The moment I try and heal, it goes straight for the uh, pain split. And of course we hurt ourselves again. HIT THE DAMN THING! Apologies to, um... Headphone users. I'm just not in the mood for this. Really not in the mood for this. FINALLY! She's absolute ridiculous. What should we get swept to absolutely like, just crits in every single uh, move um, in this episode? A crit would actually have killed Peridot then. A three attack boosts in that. And you have a Drift Blim. Of course you do. And it's level 30. Wow. Uh, let's see uh, how Charge plus Spark does. Oh, really? That was Aftermath. That's a lot of experience. Wow. I'll take that, but seriously. Not... There's only so much absolute bullshit that you can take before the salt and rage comes out. And I'm not being funny, but... That was my limit. That was my limit. I've had too much... Like, too much bollocks going on um, today. Just... I've had enough. I've... Not in the, it, not just in the games and stuff, just outside. I just frustration. And hey, if you're inter entertained by the salt, then please enjoy the salt. Enjoy my suffering. Here we are. We're about to fight the gym leader. I am going to do as I planned. We're going to lead with Peridot. And I will drop this down to normal. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, Enfant, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. C'est une performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no? Okay, Fantina. As elegant as you look right now, I am going to destroy you. You lead with the Drift Blim. Why do you lead with the Drift Blim? Why? The one thing I didn't want you to lead with. The one thing I needed you not to lead with. Because I needed to damage this thing. How much is Surf going to do? Gust. Uh, that's not going to do anything, really. The problem is minimize. Why is that doing so much damage to me? And of course we miss! One minimize does not mean everything misses. Oh, I swear, if you get flinch hacks. If you get flinch hacks... I did an okay amount of damage, I guess. Hmm. 
It's minimizing again. The only thing I've got that's guaranteed to hit is Magical Leaf. And Magical Leaf is going to be resisted, thanks to the Flying type. One more Surf will kill this, and it's not in range to have the Hyper Potion. So we might get away with it as long as we connect. Don't you dare flinch axe. Don't you dare flinch axe. And we connect. Thank you. Down goes the Drift Blim. Is that her race? Did she lead with her race? That was level 32. I, that can't be her race. But then what are the ghost types? Gengar. Most likely going to be a Gengar, isn't it? Oh, it's Miss Magius. Do I risk sending in TJ or do I go for EJ? I'm going to say EJ. EJ is my ace right now. We'll do a bit of damage with uh, the Stealth Rocks. I'll, pr I'll try for a Leer, then a Bite. But we've been having problems with um, Miss Mag... Uh, Mistrebus. So, uh, Miss Magius is probably going to be a problem. Not going to lie. It's definitely a very good special attacker, so I have to be careful with this. Charge will raise my special defense, actually. So, that's going to be a painful hit. That's also level 36. I did not realize that. Okay, we got the Leer. Uh, let's go for Bite. See how much we get. You outspeed, yes, because you're a very, very speedy boy. Or girl, in this case. So there's no way we're going to... Mind you, um, we already know EJ's slow. And that is a KO. Miss Magius goes down. It is Gengar Harace. I need to heal first turn and stay in on this. I, it's not going to have Shadow Tate. It's going to have Levitate. It's level 34. We got a little bit of damage off with the Stealth Rocks. That's good. Going to Hyper Potion this turn. What do you have for me? Shadow Ball, you're not a physical attacker. Still did more damage than I would like, though. Let's see how much... Uh, by oh, Poison Jab. That's Stab. That was also a... You dare poison me. You dare. Doesn't kill. You might heal this turn as well. I'm... I have to Hyper Potion. I have to heal. There's no... Because I can't risk them going for Sucker Punch. Speaking of Sucker Punch. Um, yeah, they did heal. What is your favorite priority move? That is a question of the day. Obviously, some of them have been removed in Sword and Shield. Uh, well, some certain moves have anyway. But yeah, what is your favorite priority move? That is a good question of the day. And one I don't actually have an answer for myself right this second. Uh, Soaker Punch is a really good one. Um, I'm not referring to Prankster boosted um, priority moves either. I'm talking about natural um, priority moves. For me, like Soaker Punch or Protect. Those are mine. Uh, I'm going to Leer because then I know for a fact we'll take it out with Bite on the next turn. As long as we eat this. Okay, that did 31 damage. So we will live a crit. I think we've got this this turn. I think by... Spy, yeah, that's, that's not a problem. You didn't go for the attack. We are... Sh well, we should be in the clear. I hope. I pray. Bye. Come on. Let's go! EJ coming in clutch. Do you know what would have been amazing in this gym? Animus. But it's okay. We have our gym badge. Which means I can probably try again to uh, see if we can't get the gibble. Um, but yeah, there you go. 
that is our fifth gym badge of the series. Excellent work all round. And that's going to do for this episode as well. Um, oh, hang on. What's the uh, TM we've got? What is it? Ominous Wind? Shadow Claw. Mm, not ideal with getting up, but we'll manage. But yeah, that will do for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share for more content uploaded every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.